Yesterday, officers from Rego District Administration with members of the media visited Sarawakena village located along the Campwells River. The locals spoke of the challenges they are facing as a result of this water pollution. The river has become muddy, smelly and boiling with varieties of fish dying and floating to the surface and it is not fit for human consumption. For washing and drinking from this water, uh, our councillor advised us not to, not to do so. People are still collecting. At the side of the banks, there's still uh, fish that are already been rotten and smell is coming up. And I think after one week or two weeks, our community will be spoiled. I think the situation is same from Gaunomu upstream going all the way to Kalo. This change in the river system started over three days ago when villagers saw fish dying and floating to the surface with the water becoming oily and muddy. According to the locals, it was believed that this could be the result of a landslide, mining or logging activities upstream. But more testing and investigation is needed to determine the cause of this water pollution. The villagers are now fetching water for drinking and cooking from creeks in the bushes. And this is now a challenge for them as they have to walk long distances. I'm long way. So, outside me is I'm strong, I'm going inside the bush. Na go kissing water and come back. So outside them no fit, them no say go. So all one one merit as well say go kissing water. I heard about that story that there's a landslide. And uh, I know there's been some minor landslide down the history. But however, this one has been massive. And I am concluding that there is illegal mining activity upstream. With Kempfels River being one of the biggest river system in central province, there are many villages located along the river. According to the locals, there are over 25 schools located in villages along this river with an estimated population of over 10,000 people who have access to this river system. Schools in the area have also been affected as students are forced to look for clean water. And they are calling on responsible authorities to support them with food supplies and clean drinking water. We're looking at uh, uh, schools starting from uh, Gaunomu and also uh, further upstream, Gaunomu down all the way to Kalo. So we're looking at around uh, 25 to 30 schools uh, that will be affected. And uh, looking at the population uh, all the way from the source water they from Dorobisoro, it's approximately 10,000 to 8,000. Uh, people are going to be affected uh, by this situation. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.